going on. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Uh, you can say, you know, the foundation, you <laughs> McDonald. Welcome, hey. you guys. Hello. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Hello. How are you doing, Yui? I'm doing good. I'm doing very well. Thank you. Yeah, where are you now? How is your time? I'm in my office and I'm in Nashville and it's about 24 minutes to three in the afternoon. Yeah, so there are people from all over the world here in Milan, the headquarter of this talk show. Uh, it's uh, 9.30 p.m. Uh, so I think there is also some Jap Japanese watching, so early morning, Australia also. So it's incredible. And uh, so, Yui, I don't know how yes. to start. You know, it's from uh, runway to early days, from through the, this day's tour, first time ever on, to, on stage with the band 25 years ago. Ooh. This is not for sale tour when you, you became finally official. You went on the fo official photos on the t-shirt, you see? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> you are here, <laughs> finally. Until the rock and roll of all of fame in Cleveland 2008. Also to the rock the vault in Las Vegas with many other artists. So it's really, I don't want to introduce you, but I think that the best introduction ever is by- Let John do it. Let okay. John do it. I don't want to make a presentation. I think that John Bon Jovi is the best one to show you. Let's see. On the bass guitar, the foundation. He's been here longer than there's been a band. He played on Runaway with me back in like 1948, 1949. I was just a little kid, and he was already really old. <laughs> James Jamerson. No. Bill McDonald on the bass. Yeah. So one of the you know, one of the so many introductions that John has done for you. But, you know, you, let's start to talk about the classic and the basic uh, question that you have received so many times in all over the years. How do you start with Bon Jovi? And show us how were the, those days, the early days with recording Runaway in the studio? Okay, well, uh, I was playing in a band with Obi, who everybody knows Obi O'Brien, and also with Lance <laughs> Quinn, who, who also produced Runaway, along with Tony Bon Jovi, who's John's cousin. And uh, they were working at the power station in New York, and John was sweeping up. He was getting coffee for, for people. He was, you know trying to make a few bucks and, and break into the business. And he was doing demos at off hours, you know, with if, if one of the studios, I think there were four or five studios in, in the building. And if he, he was around when one of the studios was open, he would do his demos and he would get different people to play on them. So I got a call from Lance Quinn asking me if I wanted to come in and play on this song for this, for this guy. And, uh, and it was Runaway and it was John. And the rest of the band was uh, Roy Bitten, played the keyboards. He was uh, in one of the other studios with, with Springsteen. And the drummer who's since passed away, Frankie LaRocca, and the guitar player, Tim Pierce, who is still one of the hottest session guitar players in LA, they were doing John Waite's first solo record. And he was in another one of the studios. So that's how that band was put together. And that, we did Runaway, not thinking, you know, it was a good song. It was fun. It was great to meet John. It was, it was all good. And then, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Did you expect, <laughs> yeah. Did yeah. you expect yeah. to yeah. many yeah. success of uh, Runaway? Because the first time Runaway was uh, published on the WIPP. Records. Yeah, it was on the album, From, uh, Homegrown. Yeah. yeah. Homegrown album. Yeah. And, uh, you, you know, it, it wasn't really 
paying that much attention because I it was just it just went in. I did this song for you know John, and uh, and it was done. It was done, and you know uh, then he you know got the deal, uh, did the thing with the with the uh, uh, the DJ, and you know finding out the loneliest guy in the world and going to visit the DJ and standing outside the the glass and going hey yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and. He's amazing with that. And uh, then he put the band together and I was just doing recording sessions for people at the time. So, and he didn't know how long that was even going to last. So he, he got the local guys that, that he knew or knew of. And uh, the rest was uh, basically history. Yeah, history, history, yeah. And, uh, you know, you, you, did, you, you weren't the official band until uh, 1993, because there was yep. uh, Alec John Satch uh, yeah, was doing it, yep. uh, for all those years. But you, you went on stage with a band, first time in 95, 94, 95, for yes. uh, this day's tour, the incredible tour. Luca. Yes, uh, so I was uh, playing with them uh, for the first time in front of so many people around the world, how was uh, your uh, feelings it, to paying so it, many it, people? It, 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 uh, to tell the truth, it, it seemed natural. Uh, I had already played all the stuff in the studio, basically, and um, it was great. It was, uh, it, it's interesting because the Live from London uh, DVD from Wembley, that was one of the yeah. first gigs I did with them. <laughs> so <laughs> it was quite a, a quite an introduction and it was very um, exciting, extremely exciting. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember first time I saw you were the first show of your these days crossroad these days tour in Europe was here in Milan. Yeah. The first show of European tour. So it, for all the people there were, you know, there were no Facebook or social media, only newspaper. And uh, I remember say, oh, a new bassist, right? Well, so you know, it's perfect. <laughs> you were with your hair. Yeah, uh, yeah. Very, very cool. Hair. Yeah, very cool. So One of the years. few times we played Italy. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I always yeah. want to go back to Italy and, and I, don't, I don't understand it. You said it well, few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <Don't> you? <laughs> you know, in Italy, we have offered you a very special concert in 2011 in Uda with all the choreography. Right? Oh, yeah. And then two years ago in, a, in San Siro Stadium here in Milan with a you incredible Bon Jovi. Fan. But we, we can talk about that later because it's, uh, we have so many, so many to talk. For example, uh, going to Maura. We, we can talk about... Yeah. Uh, let's make a jump of a couple decades from this day's tour and let's jump to this house is not for sale tour. When you finally became an official member of the band, we can see you on the photos, on the t-shirt, on Matt's t-shirt actually. So how was it to finally recognize, be recognized as official? You know, I, I never felt anything but an official member. So it, it, it was nice. But uh, it, it didn't really, <laughs> that's a good picture. It didn't really, yeah. it didn't really feel that much different. It was, uh, it, it was a pleasure after all the years to, to have that happen. But uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like all of a sudden things changed. Nothing, nothing really changed. <laughs> you just keep on going, doing the same just things. Kept, kept <laughs> yeah. it. Good. Yeah, about the last last picture, this one, uh, you were in the Electric Lady Studio, you know, right. uh, X, X Power Station Studio in New York, right? And right. John, talking talking about his album, said that for the first time ever since many years, uh, you were all together in the same studio recording the album. Yes, correct. And we were rehearsing there too. So that was, uh, yeah, the... the, the, the that started the change. I mean, in the beginning for, uh, well, Runaway, we were, you know, the 
the guys that were on that and myself were all in the, in the room at the same time playing. And for uh, Slippery, we were all in the same room playing. And for New Jersey, we were all in the same room playing. And then as soon as, as, soon as the, the digital age came in, it was easier and it was possible to, you know, yeah. one person plays this and then sends it to another person. And then, you know, so it, it, it's changed somewhat in that respect. Yeah. I, I miss everybody being in the studio. The new record, uh, 2020, we were all in the, in the room together. So it was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, all, all the fans already know that the album is uh, postponed. Uh, yeah. So we are waiting for, for that. After this pandemic uh, will be finished, we hope soon, we can hear all the album and uh, it's hope that the band will, uh, will be back on tour on stage as soon as possible. We will be there for you. Like well, we'll always. be there for you. So, <laughs> like always. I can't wait to play it. Yeah. I can't wait to play the songs. Yeah, and we can't wait to hear it. And to hear yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there are already so many questions, but fans, guys, the questions may be later after maybe we after we finish to talk. Uh, there are a time for the questions for you, okay? So, okay. during the this is not for sale tour, uh, in 2018, there was a weekend, a night that all the fans, and maybe you, uh, the band, will never forget. One of the most emotional nights ever for us, because oh. uh, you were on stage all together, and John uh, has included you also. You are now in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so well-deserved. You So it's uh, our applause. So. Thank you. Before to, before to start to talk about this, let's see your introduction uh, about, there is a little introduction by our Stern, our Stern and then your speech. <laughs> to induct into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Hugh McDonald, Tico Torres, Sir Alec John Such, David Sir. Bryan, Richie Sambora, <laughs> and the one and only John Bon Jovi, the band Bon Jovi. Emotion. It was a really yeah. great yes. Me and Luca, we were there that night with so many other fans. I will yeah. never forget. I will never forget. Incredible. Yeah, forgettable night. You are on stage now. Beautiful. Your speech. Thanks, Ooh, look at that. Thank you, Alec. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> first off, to my wife, Kelly, my kids, Morgan and Jake, I love you. Beautiful. And I'm so happy that you're here to share this honor with me. Thank you to my friend and accountant, Gary Haber, who's had my back for over 40 years. Thank you to my friend, Obi O'Brien, who, who's been on my back for over 50 years. To the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, thank you for the induction. To John Bon Jovi, thank you for the inclusion. Of course. To my brothers in the band, thank you for the inspiration. Thank you, the fans, for your devotion. I'm honored and humbled. Now, without further ado. Yeah, yeah. Was a you know incredible, very, very short yeah. message from you, but it was emotional. And John uh, said that uh, he sent an email to the Rock and Roll Fame for you also right mm -hmm. yeah an email. Can you, yeah can you tell us what's happened and uh, your reaction and uh, your well he uh he, he didn't <laughs> obviously didn't tell me about it and of uh, course. I, think fans, I, think the, I think the fans knew before before i did because uh, i was doing rock vault in in las vegas and uh kelly called me just crying and screaming. And I thought something happened to one of the kids or one of the dogs <laughs> or something. And she just started screaming, you're in, you're in, you're in. And she had seen it on social media. And, uh, you know, she, she went and she said, oh, you have to call John and thank him. You have to call John and thank him. So I called John up and, and I, you know, I said, thank you so much. He went, for what? 
And I said, for the, the Hall of Fame. He said, how'd you find out about that? And I said, Kelly told me, you know, and, and he said, did she keep her mouth shut? And, you know, and then she, he said, how did she know? And I said, but well, she saw it online, the, 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 either the fans or, you know, people were telling about it. So it was, uh, it was great. And he had sent me a framed copy of the email for my Christmas present, which I hadn't opened. I didn't even know it. I had to have somebody that was watching the house because Kelly and I were in, in Las Vegas to open it up to see what it was because I, I hadn't even seen it or didn't know about it. So that is now, that is now uh, sitting on the mantelpiece with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, statuette. So it has the, the email and that and basically you know, telling what I had done over the years and what I had contributed and what I played on and all that. Yeah, you, totally you are, deserved. Oh, Absolutely. thank you. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> we, we see now some picture of that night. This is your beautiful family with Kelly. Family. And now there's Jerry. a granddaughter. Now there's now there's a little little bow. <laughs> we have our first Congratulations. Congratulations. I like this. Hmm. Totally deserve because you are a part of the history of oh, the yeah. band. Absolutely. Oh, All the fans yeah. love you. And uh yeah. tell us yeah, something. Talking about, yeah, about uh, Rock Revolt. Uh, you joined it in uh, 2014, right? Um, how long did you play the year? Um, how was your experience in this musical? It, it was a lot of fun. It was great. It was everybody was equal, equivalent. So there were no egos involved. Everybody played their ass off every night. It was started off as, I think it was six nights a week. And then it went down to five. And it was basically 90 minutes on stage doing sort of the history of, of rock from uh oh we, what did we start off we started off with the who with my generation and went all through and then finished up with jump by uh van halen and everything in between and it was great it was a lot of fun a lot of fun yeah so i did that for a couple of you years mean, on and off oh, a couple of years mm -hmm. cool. yeah yeah absolutely this was uh, cool. in, las, in las vegas for las vegas years. Yeah. Right, and then and, uh, also... It's, it's the, still playing, still it's, playing, it, right? Well, not it's now. Musical. It's still going, going. Not uh, now. I mean, uh, before, no. yeah, before the pandemic. Yeah, I don't know if it'll start up again. It'll be interesting to see if they can weather the, yeah. uh, the COVID-19 break. Exactly. But it was nice to have another Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member in the show. Howard Lees is in the yeah. Hall of Fame with Hart. Yeah, 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 there were so many great artists that rock the fold. So, you know, you, you is a yeah. real, uh, not only a Bon Jovi member, but, you know, Bon Jovi are uh, a superstars band. Uh, you know, not only John or uh, Stico is superstar, David Bryan is superstar, you McDonald superstar. And anyway, I always change the band, if you can answer. Uh, when uh, Richie left and... Um, Felix uh, and uh, Shanks uh, joined the band because the sound right. has changed right. also. How do you think? What do you think? What do I think? I think, uh, of course, I'm, I, I miss Richie, you know, and, uh, but I love, I love Phil and, and, and John Shanks, you know, so it's, 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 the band is, 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 is good or better than it's ever been all the guitar parts that weren't able to be covered by one person. Heaven knows Richie played like three people, but uh, now it's, uh, you know, all the little parts are played and um, played extremely well. And yeah. it's, it's like uh, new members of the family. Yeah. Phil's nuts. Absolutely. Phil's, exactly. Phil's unbelievably good. And yeah. so is John. But now it's great because because with Shanks in the band playing live with us, uh, all the hard times he would give me in the studio about play it this way, play it that way. Now I just look at him and laugh. I just say, well, you played this. 
can play it that way. <laughs> You're just the also on the bus, like the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, incredible. yeah, yeah. It's we have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fun. Uh, Mavra? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so we say that you became an official member of Bon Jovi, but before joining Bon Jovi, um, you played in another band and uh, you played and recorded with many other artists like Willie Nelson, I can say Ringo Starr, Michael Bolton. So how was it to play with other people, with those people? Which was your best experience out of Bon Jovi? If you remember what you remember, <laughs> you know, I think one of the best experiences was with Willie, it was with Willie Nelson, Ooh. because it was it was in New York City. It was at a, a studio that is no longer there. It was Atlantic Records, and it was a very very famous studio. And um, the guy that produced it, uh, Arif Mardin, unbelievable producer, had done the Bee Gees, Aretha Franklin. I mean, I could go wow. on and on. The guy was a legend. He's 30. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's since passed. But he didn't know that Willie had a band. And, of course, Willie pulls in out in front of the studio with his bus with a whole band. And he had hired different players from New York to play on the record. And they were so cool that it was no big deal. It was like, okay, one band, you know, one band order food. The other band go in and play the first song. The first band come back out. The other band go in and play the next song. So it was it was it was so much fun that it was um, it was just too much fun to be legal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Ringo, Ringo Ringo was interesting. He, he was a lot of fun. He uh, we would sit there and run the song over and sort of look at each other and, okay, I'm going to do this here. I'm going to do that there. I'm going to do another thing here. And as soon as we started Whoa. doing the takes, he would change it and sort of look at me and, and with an evil little grin. <laughs> <laughs> so that was good. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's amazing. Thank it's you. amazing. You, you, Thank you, you for so, sharing this. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Talking that about was, your... was really great. That yeah, was Cooper. Yeah. Was, he's still like... He's still like a member of our family. He's Uncle Alice to uh, to Jake, to my son. Oh, oh. yeah. Jake, Jake is also playing uh, Jake and the Killjoys. Sometimes I follow right. him uh, with yeah. uh, and uh, yeah, a... some on social media. Sometimes they right. pop yeah. up something. Yeah. So he but... was all set. He was all set to release a, a new record and tour and everything else. And in this hit, and he it was like going from a million miles an hour to zero. So yeah, just like, like, like everyone. <laughs> yes, like everyone. Yeah. And uh, you, you are also a great dog lover. You have so many dogs in your life. <laughs> Not only four now, but uh, at one point I think we had six or seven. Yeah, oh, we had nine. I was told. See, nine. Okay. <laughs> I hear Kelly's. I hear Kelly somewhere. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Stanley. Yeah, yeah, we got. Now, see, you said dogs. And Roxanne. 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 <laughs> it's a Roxanne. Thanks, for, thanks for this beautiful moment <laughs> inside Here your you house. Hey, Roxanne. Oh, beautiful. Hey, Roxanne. <laughs> oh, my gosh, she's huge. She's really big. <laughs> you're on a little one. Oh, hi, Kelly. 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 Love them. Hi, Love guys. Them. Hi, how are you, Kelly? Hello. Ah, probably on my head. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Hi, guys. Can yeah. I quickly tell the story of how we met Luca? Oh, so yeah, oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> it was hilarious. So one of my dearest friends on the planet, Debbie Leshno. I love yeah. her to death. I miss her. Hi, Deb. I know you're watching. Um, hey, which Deb. way do I go oh, this way? Oh, 
You need to move. Oh, Let's excuse just... me. Okay. Hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> anyway, so Debbie and I, um, we lived in New Jersey, so Deb picked me up to go to. He's gonna poop on me. She picked me up to go to a show, and she said, "Oh, our our friend Luca's coming. He's from Italy." And Luca's English is very good now, but at the time we struggled a little, right? Just a little. So yeah. they picked me up and we stopped at CBS for some reason. We had to get something because it's Debbie. And she went to open the trunk. Wasn't that what it was? And the trunk lid hit Luca above his eye and he had this <laughs> huge gash and blood was pouring down his face and Debbie's like, oh my God, I killed Luca. <laughs> <laughs> and poor Luca, I, he had to hold this, we had to go back in the store and get more bandages. I mean, it was gushing, it's crazy. <laughs> so that's- I remember very well. <laughs> it was hilarious, but anyway, <laughs> love you guys. I'll oh, get out of the way. Thank, thank you too. so much. <laughs> Bye, Luca, <laughs> Luca, you never told Maura, uh, Ali, okay. you have some picture of uh, you yeah. and Kelly. Stay with us because we have, we have something for you and you. It's some picture of your beautiful cow. Oh, wow. beautiful. beautiful picture. It looks like I'm choking you. Oh, now you're choking me. <laughs> well, like, yes. the uh, it's the wedding. Oh, that's our wedding. That was great. <laughs> Oh, yay. yay for us. Yeah, well, thank, some, you some That's you. thank you, Alicia, for okay. following this picture of the world. So, Kelly, yeah. wow. people are telling you, people here are commenting, telling you that you are so beautiful and very, very funny. So, they are all thanking <laughs> you for this appearance. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm That's crazy. But thank you. Thank you. I, I feel thank old. You. You know, we, but it's okay. He, never going to be as old as me. Exactly. He'll always be older than me. One time he said, you know, when you get too old, I'm just going to get another, like, 30-year-old or something. I said, yeah, well, don't let the door hit your wheelchair on the way out because he's, like, 80. How old are you, like? Something like that. Hey, guys, have fun. Uh, I have to see go. You Thank you. Really. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Yeah, that's Thanks it. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming and join us for this All surprise. Right, guys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, okay. Thanks, Kelly, for, yeah. for this surprise. Thanks for this surprise. So, guys, uh, people from home, it's your time. If you have some question uh, for Yui, please post and uh, we can choose, can choose some randomly. Okay. Yeah, let's see why not. Mel, say what has been your favorite tour so far and why? Ooh, favorite tour. You know what? I have to say, I have to say the, uh, the these days, the, 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 the these days tour because it was the first one and it was it, it was huge we had these big inflatables on either side yeah <laughs> were like the size of, of, of buildings and i remember one time being on stage and watching one was leaking air and started to come down on this poor guy that was standing <laughs> and he was, i thought he, I thought he was going to die in his mind, I mean, it, since it was, you know, it wasn't going to hurt him. But that the these days tour, and uh, and playing Wembley, the old Wembley, was uh, yeah. yeah, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Never been the old I, Wembley, but okay. So I wish uh, I wish I could have seen at least one of those shows. I was too young. That yeah. Time. <laughs> well, get the DVD. Already watched. Already watched. Before him, I don't want to. Did you pay DVD? Guess who? Everything. Who that is? Ah, it's Obi. It's Obi and I at our first Holy Communion. No way! Oh my God! That's how long we've known each other. He's gonna kill you. Obi's gonna kill you now. Wow. 
Wow. Well, I got so, pictures that would be worse. So another, <laughs> another, question, another question is from Sheila. If you could choose your own ultimate band, who would you have in it? Mm. I have my ultimate band. Of course. <laughs> so, Already. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, there's a, am I going to choose a better songwriter? No. A better front man? No. You know, a better drummer? I don't think so. And it, and it goes on. So I, yeah, I, exactly. there isn't anybody else that I would rather play with. You know, same yeah. for us. <laughs> same for yes, us. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for being here. So a it's, been a, memory. it's been a long journey. Is there a specific memory? Yeah. You will share is the most. It's a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ah, you is there. It's freezing. Is it there? Yeah. Oh, so is we lost him a bit? So it's not my problem, right? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you, Maybe you it's frozen. frozen. <laughs> no. Uh, you the, yeah, the okay. specific memory okay. is is meeting Kelly uh, at her with good. Yeah, we seem to have a problem here with. No, okay, yeah, now it's yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Now it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, there was only another question. This one, this one, maybe. Huh. Yeah, okay. this one is very, uh, mm -hmm. it's very, uh, it's very uh, song to play. Keep posting, my Joe Magai What's, What's my favorite problem? song to play? Yes. Yeah. Um, hmm. You know, Oh, it's interesting. Most people would think it would be Keep the Faith. Uh, you know, my favorite funny. song to play is, uh, um, oh, God, let me think of the song. We haven't played it in so long. Um, oh. <laughs> it's been a drive. It, it would be, uh, <laughs> oh. right, I'm, I'm sorry, but just bear with me. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah. Are difficult think for us. <laughs> you yeah. have too many songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Lie to me. Can I ask? Lie to me. Is my favorite. Lie to me. Wow. Yeah, we would wow. like too. <laughs> we love it. You know, they yeah. they played it just a little bit in Udan in 2011. They played a little bit of Lie to Me. Back in yeah. 2011. Yeah, I should play more often because yes. it's a beautiful song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Azan asked, Ayui, what is the craziest, scariest crowd you played for? Also, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't know if I don't know if it's ever been scary. Uh, <laughs> I would I, I would say it's a it's a toss up between uh well, actually, it's not. I can't. I can't choose one. Yeah. I think. I, I think. Of, I think of the show. I think of the shows that, that when you had the, all the stuff yeah, happening, and, 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 yeah, and yeah, that was really great. And Wembley's great. Uh, you know, Jersey's always always crazy. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so there is. So, a, yeah, that's one I can pick out. Yeah, it's perfect, it's perfect. So, Yui, the, um, after you, uh, there is, we have uh, other guests from London. Uh, mm -hmm. They will play with us um, an acoustic set from their house. And uh, when I told mm -hmm. them that you were here, I couldn't make to introduce them because they have opened it for you for the band from Bon Jovi in a Twickenham Stadium 2008. And they have played also in the last uh, Mediterranean, Runaway to Paradise uh, with JBJ Cruz. Right. And uh, they are here already, so we can introduce them now just to say hi to you both. We have Stuart Mac now hey. from London. Hello. 
Hi guys. How are you doing? Hi Hugh. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you again. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we crossed paths backstage somewhere, but it's yeah, nice to yeah. It's good to see you. You too. You too. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's happy. Yeah, healthy, happy. Just uh, getting through this like everyone else. So um, yeah, all yeah. good. Back on the road soon, hopefully. Very cool. So it's a. Uh... It's very nice from Milan to Turin to Nashville to London. Tonight is very, very nice. So it's a uh, very thanks, cool. Thanks. Thing yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, everyone. International. Yeah, Worldwide. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, guys, there are no many other stay there. We can say, we can thank Yui to join yeah, us. Thank today. you very much for oh, coming. Oh, that's all right. That's for, all your right. for your time, it was uh, our pleasure, and I think it's all the been fans. It's a pleasure. It's great. Yeah, an yeah, honor yeah. and a pleasure, really. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for sharing your uh, stories. Yeah. Thanks for all yes. the stories. Thanks for and all the pictures. The stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just sitting right in front of me, so I had to. I had to put that up. <laughs> <laughs> so perfect, perfect. So, Yui, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, hope to see you soon uh, somewhere around yeah. the world. Or... So. Very Let's soon. Hope. Very soon. <laughs> crossed. Yeah. Thank you. Keep your fingers <laughs> crossed. And uh, say that thanks is. to Kelly. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.